There are a lot of buses carrying soldiers of the Ethiopian army who are reportedly leaving towards the north, towards where Tigrayan and Oromo rebels are said to be present and uh, advancing. On Thursday morning, there was also a ceremony organized for over 300 government workers who decided to join the war and uh, leave uh, to the front. Other than that, life is more or less as usual here in Addis Ababa. Of course, people are extremely worried. The situation is particularly worrisome for residents of Tigrayan descent. We've been hearing an increasing number of reports regarding roundups and arrests of Tigrayans here uh, in Addis Ababa. Many are very scared and are hiding outside of their homes uh, for fear of being taken uh, by security forces because of uh, their ethnicity. We'll have to see whether rebels actually manage to reach the capital uh, in the coming weeks. Uh, the U.S. envoy for the Horn of Africa, Jeff Frey, Feltman is supposed to be in Addis Ababa this Thursday. We've also heard calls for ceasefire from the East African body IGAD, as well as uh, from Kenya, who has put in place uh, border restrictions uh, with Ethiopia. But so far, any attempts to diplomacy have failed. Uh, it seems like our, all sides are, on the contrary, trying to reinforce uh, their uh, military forces and fight uh, until the end. Uh, the TPLF has made clear that they do not trust uh, the government whom they accused of starving out the Tigray region. We also have to keep in mind that the TPLF is considered a terrorist organization by the Ethiopian government, which will further complicate matters when it comes to peaceful negotiations.